The leader of the Cameroonian separatist group is accusing Nigeria of being sympathetic to the Cameroonian government after the arrest of some of his members here in Nigeria. Security forces arrested 10 executives of the Ambazonia separatist movement in Abuja. That was on Friday. The group, uh, which is made up of uh, English-speaking Cameroonians, wants independence from Francophone Cameroon, accusing President Paul Bia of discrimination. Now let's uh, bring in uh, uh, from uh, Cameroon, uh, the, that's uh, editor of Green Vision newspaper, Yike Funky, to talk to us on Skype. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us this hour. Well, uh, well, uh, a leader of the separatist group is accusing Nigeria of being sympathetic to the Cameroonian government, but they were. Uh, the reports indicate that they were within the Nigerian borders trying to, um, you know, come up with some, some plans against the Cameroonian government. Wasn't the Nigerian government also within its rights to ensure that they didn't do that? No. Um, I have to make this clear. Um, Nigeria is an autonomous state with its territorial integrity. Of course, it has to secure its uh, territory. That is very correct. Uh, but that notwithstanding, um, every member of the separatist movement, that's the government of the separatist government, Ambazonia, has a refugee status, meaning um, they are recognized by the United Nations as refugees based in Nigeria. Now, they were holding a meeting in a Nera Hotel in Abuja, trying to discuss on how to contain the huge number of uh, Southern Cameroonians who are finding themselves in Nigeria as refugees given the high military crackdown in Manu Division in the southwest region of Cameroon. And so given that the rainy season is approaching, these uh, concerned uh, citizens of um, Southern Cameroons decided to hold a meeting in Nigeria so they can mobilize or galvanize financial support to contain these over 40,000 refugees that are found in uh, Nigeria. So putting all of this together, I, I think that the, uh, the, the, the Cameroonians, uh, 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 Cameroonians, especially the Southern Cameroonians, are very surprised why the Nigerian government, especially at this time, would uh, perpetrate such arrests, especially as there's been rising uh, rumors that the Cameroonian government is working hand in hand with Nigeria to see that these men are being arrested and extradited to Cameroon. All right, but this, this movement, I mean, there have been calls for um, independence from uh, Cameroon. That's the Francophone in the region. But do you think, do you think, as one who has been following events, that this uh, might be feasible? I, I don't think it might be feasible for now. It, it looks so much like an elephant dream for now, a, a wide elephant dream. But... I think that in the long run, it, it, it perhaps, I, I can't tell, um, I think that in the long run, something can happen in that regard because it, it, it acts, it is much like an ideology now for the common person, for the common man, um, to, to, to just a, a white goose chase. It, it, it could happen in future, but at the moment I think that it, it is not feasible, which is why a group of people are trying to lay grounds to see that uh, such a thing happens, uh, and 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 of course I, I should tell you that I am I am uh, a bona fide anglophone, a bona fide Cameroonian, but the larger population of anglophones are, are, are undergoing a lot of marginalisation from francophones. Uh, I should say from the the uh, francophone regime. So um, that is why the strike has gone on so long for more than a year now and they're trying to see as a reason how they can put all of this together but i think that um while we're trying to live as brothers and sisters under one republic all of the uh, uh the, the, the the human rights uh stipulations should be respected between the two uh cameroons all right, uh, uh, Yag, well, can you tell us in what ways that the Francophone region has been marginalized over time? 
the anglophone region you want to say I now I, I should yes now um i'll give you a few 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 reasons now we look at the linguistic um the language issue we, we realize that anglophones and francophones came together in 1961 to form a cameroon that is highly constituted religiously and linguistically of two cultures unfortunately you realize that much of the documents, much of the appointments have favored one part of the Cameroons, that is the French side of Cameroon. Uh, and it, it, it is already becoming uh, an informal way to say that Cameroon is a French-speaking country. You want to see the currency uh, is in French, you want to see almost everything is in French. And even the head of state has been in power for over 25 years, but he's never altered uh, a, a, a state of the nation address in English. At the end of uh, of the year, that is an evidence to show that there is a language issue. Another issue is the uh, educational issue. There's been a progressive uh, assimilation of the Anglo-Saxon system of education and livelihood to form the francophone, uh, and that has happened in a systematic manner. These are some of the grievances that the lawyers and the teachers put on the table to which were denied by the government initially and they are now accepting it. Another factor is um, the fact that Anglophones, uh, Francophones seem to see themselves to be superior. Wherever you find a, a, a Francophone, he wants to see an Anglophone to be a, a, a second fiddle in, in the circle of governance in Cameroon, which is, which is really unfair. In fact, I should tell you that the centralization of the government of Cameroon, everything found in Yaoundé, has made things even more difficult for Anglophones. Because when you go to the offices in Yaoundé, you want to seek for any attention, they right. tell you to the compound vote of Marcella. So all of those things are, are really difficult and are making life difficult for the common Anglophone. Uh, all right. Um, Yike Funky, uh, editor Yannick of Green... Funky, yes, uh, editor of Green Vision newspaper. We must thank you very much indeed for talking to us. And let's sort of you know, try to help your position that uh, a renowned Nigerian lawyer, Falano, has asked uh, President Buhari to order the release of the men. Well, in other stories, an MI-17 attack helicopter of the Nigerian Air Force uh, has crashed into the northeast during a counter-